everyone, and welcome back to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I am making an easy and delicious sandwich perfect for St. Patrick's Day. It's Reuben Sliders. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and everybody can give this video a thumbs up. Now let's make these sandwiches. For the Reuben Sliders, I made my own Thousand Island dressing to spread on the sandwich buns. So this starts with a half a cup of mayonnaise, then you add one heaping tablespoon each of sweet pickle relish and ketchup, then a half a teaspoon of minced dried onion, a splash of apple cider vinegar, and a pinch of salt and pepper, and I mix this all together. After tasting it, I decided it needed a little bit of sweetness, so I also added in about a half a teaspoon of sugar as well, and then stirred that all together. Next up is a super flavorful butter that you spread all over the tops of the sandwiches. So you start with half a stick of melted unsalted butter, and to that you add in a quarter teaspoon of dried minced onion, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and about a half a teaspoon of poppy seeds. And then you mix that all together and then set it aside until you're ready to spread it on your sandwiches. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and prepared my 13 by nine inch glass baking dish by spraying it with a little bit of nonstick spray. Then I got a package of Hawaiian rolls and then to the best of my ability, cut them in half. I drained this large bag of sauerkraut and I only needed a little bit of it for the sandwiches so I just froze the rest. So now it's time to assemble the sandwiches. I started by placing the bottoms of the Hawaiian buns into my greased pan and then I spread a thick layer of the homemade Thousand Island dressing on top. Next, I added about a half a pound of sliced corned beef that I got at my deli counter at the grocery store. However, you could also use a homemade corned beef brisket for this and shred it and put it on the buns and that would be delicious. And in fact, I have a video where I do this. It's very easy to do. Lots of stores are selling corned beef with the seasonings right now for St. Patrick's Day. So I'll leave that video link for you in the description box below. Next up, I added a layer of sliced Swiss cheese and then I put some of that drained sauerkraut all over the top. To finish these, you put the lids on the buns and then spread that seasoned melted butter all over the top. So I use a silicone pastry brush to sort of get the butter evenly over the tops of the buns and then you want to pour all of the remaining spices over the top so that they're evenly dispersed. These bake at 350 degrees for 10 minutes covered in foil and then you remove the foil and bake them for another 10 minutes until the tops get golden brown and the cheese is gooey and melted. The bottoms of these sandwiches get especially buttery and crispy, so you want to take a knife and cut through so you create those individual sandwiches, and then you can easily use a little spatula to get them out and serve. If you want to, you can serve some extra Thousand Island dressing on the side for dipping, but in any case, these have great flavor, a bunch of different textures going on, and they will be perfect for your St. Patrick's Day celebration. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon.